Hello dear followers, hope you're doing fine. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to present the first lesson of the third year uh, program based on the adapted yearly planning. So just to remind you, uh, there is only one lesson which has been uh, removed from uh, the, the planning, which is pronunciation of can and can't. That's all. So uh, let's start. So I just want to remind you uh, the content of each column. So uh, you have time, then you have framework. It means uh, the steps that should be followed in the listening lesson. Then you have procedure, means each activity. How should it be done? Then you have TL, it means the role of the teacher and the learner. And we know that in the competency-based approach, the role of the learner is, of course, should be active and should be learner-centered uh, more than teacher-centered. The aim, of course, uh, here uh, we have the general objective of the lesson and we have the aim of each activity. So if you see aim in a lesson plan, it means the aim of each activity. Then you have materials, it means uh, what do I use uh, in my lesson, uh, the board, the copy book, the textbook, uh, handouts, uh, data show, everything you use should be mentioned in your lesson plan. Then you have VAKT, here uh, it stands for the learning styles of your pupils, so there are pupils who are auditive, there are pupils who are visual, etc. But here in the lesson plan, uh, for example, if you uh, are talking about a listening lesson plan so you are going to make your learners listen so they're going to be more auditive than maybe tactile or kinesthetic let's start with the first step of uh, of the listening lesson so we have a uh, warm-up which should be um, present in all lessons it takes five minutes so the teacher greets her pupils and asks them about uh, their weekend so here it's just to break the ice, it's just to relax the atmosphere and make them feel at ease. Then you have uh, the pre-listening, which takes five minutes. Uh, here you're going to, uh, here I have designed a, a lesson plan, uh, which is uh, suitable for uh, the new timing, 45 minutes. Uh, so here uh, I wanted to prepare them to deduce the topic uh, of the listening. So I uh, chose um, a good pupil uh, so, so that I can interact with her or him. Uh, I asked her or him to introduce herself or himself and uh, what do you look like, what can you do and what do you look like. So here they already have an idea about uh, these kind of questions because they have seen all this last year. And besides, they have, uh, like in the presentation of the sequence, we talked about interests and abilities and profile. So they have like a general idea about this and they can like um, get familiar. So here, uh, after uh, she answered all my questions, I asked them to match the questions to the words, the profile, the appearance, the abilities and the interests. I highlighted abilities because I'm going to talk about it in my listening. After that, I move to the while listening phase. You have to move smoothly. So, I'm going to tell them that we are going to talk about abilities. I'm going to identify the context of the listening. You're going to listen to a candidate talking about her abilities to the juries in a TV show. I should make them listen twice, sometimes three times, why not? It depends on the level of your pupils. And here there is something very important. You ask them to write the activities on the board or you distribute them handouts containing the activities before you make them listen. Why? To get familiar with the script, to have a general idea about the script. In the while listening, we have three activities. Here, Act 1, it's, uh, I ask them to complete the information. So first name, age, nationality, and town. The second activity, true or false. And the third activity, answering questions. 
The aim of my activities is to appraise or evaluate their scanning skill and their skimming skill. You know, in a listening and reading lesson, which are called receptive skills, um, our pupils are going to receive. So I'm going to evaluate their capacity and their competency of skimming and scanning. So to skim is to listen or to read for the gist. It means to uh, listen, to get the general topic and the general idea of the listening or of the reading text. And scanning, it means I'm going to listen or to read to look for a particular information. Here it's scanning. So, the materials I used, audio, copybook, board, or if you don't want to write the activities on the board, just have to use handout to gain time. So this is my script. J stands for jury and C stands for candidate. Here, I give you time to read the dialogue. And I want to tell you that I have chosen uh, like um, a script or that I have written a script which will help me in the grammar lesson. As you may see, I used interrogative form of can, affirmative, negative, so that it paves the way to the grammar lesson and I'm going to teach grammar in context based on what they have listened to. After doing all these activities, and I should remind you that each activity has a specific time, so you should set the time for each activity. And of course, you're going to ask them to do it in group or in pairs or individually. After that, you have post listening. It takes 15 minutes only. So you have been selected for the casting of a TV show. Write a dialogue with the collaboration of your classmate where you perform the role of the candidate and the jury then act it out. So here, the aim is to uh, invest the prior knowledge to perform an output, to produce something based on their creativity. Here, the materials uh, I and they used, copybook and, of course, the board. You, uh, you're going to uh, give them some time to write the dialogue. And here, you insist on the oral communication you insist on the pronunciation, you insist on the intonation of the questions, you insist on, um, on the context, means you're going to um, teach them how to uh, be suitable and how to be flexible depending on the context where they are. And this is very important. Since my instruction is contextualized, um, th their, their behavior should be in harmony with the instruction and I'm, I'm sure they love this activity that's all my dear followers thanks for watching if you have any question don't hesitate take care of yourselves goodbye